Hey there singers and musicians, my name is Matt Baker and in this video I'm going to teach you how to properly concertina a chart. So our goal with concertinaing a chart the correct way, the way I'm going to show you, is to end up with a chart that has the first page on the top and has no buckling or folding at all when you fold it. But even better, check this out. When you've concertinaed a chart the correct way and it's got more pages than will fit open on a music stand, the chart will actually operate like a book and you can have the first three pages open, turn like that for pages four and five, then turn like that for pages six and seven. Isn't that wonderful? The other cool thing about a properly concertinaed chart for super long charts is that they can operate like an open book on the piano. So, the way I've got this set up is that you have pages 1 and 2 open already. You also have the last two pages of the chart open from the beginning and all of the center pages sit here perfectly in the center and you can turn them just like a book whenever you're ready. There's no buckling or folding in any of the pages and that's all because of the way that you tape them together. Now I do want to give all credit to pianist Taylor Eichstee for showing me the correct way to concertina a chart. I tell you once I knew, it was like seeing the light. I've never gone back or done it any other way since. So the first thing I'm going to say is don't use regular computer paper, uh, especially for really long charts. I mean, how many times have you seen this happen to a piano player? Where the chart is longer than the music stand. And the chart just hangs off the side like that. It just becomes a total nightmare. Whereas cardstock has weight in it, so if it has to hang off the edge of the music stand, it can still stay upright. The other bad thing about using paper that won't happen with cardstock is that because paper is so light, it can easily blow off the music stand. And you think I'm joking? This actually happened to me at a concert uh, inside in a big concert hall where just sitting there at the piano the music suddenly went and blew off the stand because there was an air conditioner on the other side of the room. There's only two things that you'll need here. The first is cardstock which you can buy from Staples. It's really cheap and I use 110 pound cardstock and it comes in a ream of 250 sheets and scotch tape. I use the red scotch transparent tape. Don't use the magic invisible tape and I think it comes in a green packet because that stuff is actually really weak and if you happen to move the charts in the wrong direction it will actually tear and the pages will come apart. This stuff is actually really strong. Now the big secret is coming up. How to properly scotch tape your charts together. Now here's how not to tape them. Don't overlap the pages at all when you tape them together like that. And also, don't have little gaps between the pages when you tape them. Why? Because the sticky stuff remains on the outside and when you fold the charts together, they stick together. And how many gigs have you been at as a piano player where you're trying to turn the page in a hurry and it's stuck to the page three pages behind? No. This is how we do it you tape the pages on alternate sides starting with the back side of pages one and two and then the front side of the next joint pages two to three and then the back side and then the front etc etc until you reach the end of the chart now most people do get this wrong even when you think you understand it so watch very carefully on this page of some other time beautiful Leonard Bernstein classic. Um, I've taped the first join here, which is between pages one and two, on the back side. Pages two to three, I taped it on the front side. Pages three to four, on the back side, etc., etc. Now the way I tape it, you don't have to put scotch tape down the whole joint. I put three pieces, one at the top, one at the bottom, and one in the middle generally, if you can see that. Now, why do we tape it like that? The reason is because it's the way that we want it to fold. The, the charts fold best when they fold into the scotch tape. So, on the back of pages one to two is where I've got my scotch tape. 
and the chart folds back this way. And when it does, there's no um, uh, folding or buckling in the chart. If you try to fold it the other way, so if I try to fold pages one and two into each other like that, you can see that they won't join and there's actually gonna be buckling there. They actually won't seal at all unless I really force them down. And you don't wanna end up with a chart that looks like that, okay? So you have to tape them on alternate sides in order for the chart to sit exactly like a book with no buckling. So believe me, taping them all on the front joins is not going to work. It might sit out there correctly, but the piano player won't be able to turn the pages as I showed you earlier, and they won't sit like that when they fold together. So now we're gonna do one together. First, take pages one and two, and to tape them, we're gonna do them on the back because they're the first two pages. So turn them over and put one piece there, another piece in the middle, and another piece close to the top. And there you have pages one and two, which will fold beautifully with the first page on the top. Now for the third page, we are going to tape them on the front because we taped one and two on the back, two and three get taped on the front. And you know what to do now with pages three and four. So that, my friends, is how to properly concertina a chart.